What did you have for breakfast this morning? Coffee. It's always coffee. What did you have for breakfast? I don't know. Hey everyone, Trace here for D News with a very special guest, Crystal Dilworth from Fail Lab. Hey Crystal. Hey Trace. Thanks for having me. Of course. I have a very distinct memory of being told by my mother to get something from the basement. I would walk down the stairs and I would start talking to my dad and completely forget what it was that I was supposed to go down there for. Yeah, stuff like that happens to me all the time. But actually a study in the Quarterly Journal of Experimental Psychology proposed a model for that phenomenon. They concluded that moving from one location to another might cause us to cross an event boundary and that this has implications for short-term and working memory. It's sort of like a location updating effect. Okay, so when I walk through a doorway, as they put it at Notre Dame, my context is gone? Well, they found that it doesn't really have to do with context. It's more about what's immediately important. I mean, using virtual reality, they had people simulate walking through a doorway from one room into an identical room. And the delayed recall and memory loss was the same. So the authors are saying that the door acts to kind of wipe your memory slate clean to make room for new short-term memories. The new room is a novel environment, you'd be assessing the new location, your attention would be in examining the new room, seeing if you had to escape if there was a danger. <laughs> so your processing power is directed towards the formation of new short-term memories. And we only have a limited amount of space for those. Right. I, a really limited amount of space, actually, in my case. My mom would always remember where everything was and what we were supposed to be doing. So a new study from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology says that men actually forget more. So maybe this is the key. According to their research, 46% of men experienced minor memory problems and 1.6% had severe issues. The researchers asked men and women if they had trouble remembering names and dates, what they did a year ago and other stuff. Men reported memory problems with eight out of the 10 criteria. Do we just suck at remembering things? I don't think that's it at all. I mean, firstly, those were self-reported results. Mm -hmm. And the authors were trying to address the question of self-perception of memory loss because of the correlation to the onset of dementia. But some media outlets like mm -hmm. to make a big deal of gender differences. The differences here were really slight. Like, 44% of the women experienced the minor memory problems too. And 1.2 claim more severe problems, which is compared to the 1.6% of men. So that's really not that different. No. But I think it's interesting that according to the study, names and dates are also the hardest to remember for women. Mm -hmm. but but at least in the US, men have a bad reputation for forgetting anniversaries, birthdays, etc. Could be connected to social value. Women might be more aware of their forgetfulness because remembering names and dates have a higher importance for our social relationships than they do for men. I mean, it's just a hypothesis. Right, right. Though the publications might be trying to mess us up, we're actually not as forgetful as they thought. Well, certainly the gender bias might be misleading. Another result that the authors present was that the subjective memory impairment was reported to a lower degree in highly educated individuals compared to those with less education. Okay. So we're pretty close to being equally forgetful, but those of us that have more education might have a leg up. Cool. Sounds okay to me. What do you all think, though? Are you forgetful? Can you remember your anniversaries, birthdays, names, and dates? Tell us your tips and tricks down below, and you should also check out Crystal over on Fail Lab. Where can they find you? YouTube.com slash Zucosis 101. Or oh. right over here. Cool. Thanks a lot for watching.